from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father Roshan Lloyd D'Souza, CSC. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from Rose and Bill Sanesh from Vernon, British Columbia. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of their dear sister, Elizabeth Sanesh Higgins, and for God's blessings for her loving husband, Bob. May she rest in peace, and may her husband live in peace, knowing that Elizabeth is now in God's caring hands. With love from her sister and brother, Rose and Bill Sanish. Our thanks to Rose and Bill for choosing to remember their sister in this way. This sacred celebration will be seen by tens of thousands of people across Canada and around the world. And on their behalf, I thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today the Mother Church remembers holy innocence. Many innocent lives are lost every day. As followers of Christ, we have a fundamental duty to love in service. Let us practice this to be true followers and disciples of Christ. To enter into this banquet in a worthy manner, let us accept our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the Holy Innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, grant, we pray, that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, this is the message we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you, that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have communion with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have communion with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his sons, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After the wise men had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take up the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod, is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, 
and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a feast of holy innocence. And as we celebrate this feast and listen to this gospel, I suppose there is not a one of us who doesn't ask in his heart or in her heart, why God? How could you let such an awful thing happen? We are so thankful that Jesus wasn't killed, but what about those others, those little boys? Didn't you care about them? What about their poor mothers and fathers, lamenting and wailing, refusing to be comforted because their children are no more? Oh God, did it have to be that way? Such thoughts show that our faith has trouble coming to terms with some very important truths that God teaches us in his word. From start to finish, the Bible reminds us that this life is not permanent, that this world is not our home, that we are a people on pilgrimage. Further, the Bible bears abandoned testimony and we experience it in our own lives too, that God does not guarantee anyone a certain length of time for that pilgrimage. Some have a very short journey through this world, their breath snuffed out like that of the holy innocents. Others live to gray hair and see grand or great-grandchildren. Many end their pilgrimage somewhere in between. But it, this much is very true. The pilgrimage comes to an end for all, and that end can come at any time and in any way. Just being realistic, I think it was the same realism that inspired the church to set the feast of the holy innocents just three days after the nativity of the Lord a nostalgic reminder of why our Lord took on flesh and blood. You see, in life, in this world, is a pilgrimage and it has an end. It does not at all follow that, that that is the end of us. Rather, the Bible reveals the startling truth that we like it or not, every last one of us is going to live forever. And the Bible reveals that we will live forever either in eternal joy and bliss or never-ending regret or sorrow and pain. What makes the difference? The Lord demands that we love the Lord our God and every ounce of our being that we love our neighbor as ourselves, that we do so from the heart, that means wanting always what brings glory to God and blessing to our neighbor. When we reject Jesus, when we go against his teaching, we are in refusal of the precious gift of God. It's opposite of faith, being given to, receiving from Christ who would give us eternal life forever. And this life is after all only a pilgrimage. Death and sit for each one of us at a time we can't guess and sometimes in ways that are ghastly. 
but our Jesus has opened a kingdom beyond death. He has prepared for us an everlasting home, and for that, to him, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be all glory, honor, world without end. Amen. Let us bring all our prayers before our loving God who listens to us and grants us his blessings. Let us pray for the church, especially for Pope Francis, Cardinal Thomas, religious and missionaries, that we may continue to spread the gospel of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those in the civil and government authorities, that they may be strengthened to make right judgments for the good of the people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the frontline workers in service, that they may be strengthened, especially in this time of pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the Daily TV Mass community who have asked to be remembered in our prayer intentions book, especially those experiencing loneliness and doubts about the future during these uncertain times, that they may find the peace and the hope of Christ during this season of Christmas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With those of you at home, join with me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these your saints, who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go to share the love of Christ. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. If you'd like to sponsor a Mass or share in sponsoring a Mass, please call our office at one 888 383-6277 for details.